Hey guys, what's up? So today I have something special for you. I want to tell you all about one of my favorite TV shows of all time, Mama's Family. And the reason why I want to share with you my favorite show, one of my favorite shows, is because this year is the 30th anniversary of this classic series. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about Mama's Family. Mama's Family started off as a skit on The Carol Burnett Show known as The Family that first aired on March 16, 1974. Carol Burnett played Eunice Higgins, Vicki Lawrence played her mother, Mama Harper, and rounding out the family was Harvey Corman as Ed. Originally, Carol Burnett was supposed to play Mama and Vicki Lawrence, Eunice, but Carol said that Eunice spoke more to her than Mama did. After the skit aired, it became one of the many recurring skits on the show. The family skits were about a Midwestern family from Raytown and their constant squabbling with each other, with Eunice and Mama usually going at each other's throats. Eunice was the hopeless dreamer that she was going to be an actress and singer and not just be a housewife and have to take care of Mama as well. Mama didn't help Eunice's situations either as she was constantly riling Eunice up. And lastly, Ed would try to do his best to fix the problems between Eunice and Mama, but by the end of each skit, all three would end up yelling and screaming at each other. The family also had many recurring characters, including Mama's many sons, played by many great actors including Roddy McDowell, Alan Alda, and even the legendary Dick Van Dyke. Another reoccurring character was Mickey Hart, who was Ed's friend and employee. Mickey Hart was played by Tim Conway, who, was, who is best described as a few sandwiches short of a picnic basket. Also reappearing was Eunice's older sister, Ellen. Ellen was played by Betty White, who was snobby as all get out and loved to trade bars between Eunice, Mama, and Ed as well. In the final season of The Carol Burnett Show, the family became famous for a skit that involved the whole family playing charades and Mickey Hart telling a story about two Siamese elephants and the sound that they made when they raised their trunks. As Mickey is telling the story, the entire cast is barely keeping it together, and at the end, Mama steals the whole skit when she says, Are you sure that the last hell through yet? Which at that point, the entire cast loses it. After the Carol Burnett show ended in 1978, Carol and Vicky made many appearances as Mama and Eunice on many game shows but mostly on the series Password Plus. 1982, CBS aired a special entitled Eunice. Eunice followed Eunice's life over a 23-year period from her early teenage years in the 1950s up to her current life in the 1970s. After this special aired, NBC ordered a series about Mama Harper and her family. Mama's Family premiered on January 22, 1983 with Vicki Lawrence reprising her role as Thelma Mama Harper, Ken Berry playing her son Vinton Vint Harper, Dorothy Lyman playing his wife Naomi Oates Harper. Rounding out the cast was Maude and Golden Girl star Rue McClanahan as Thelma's sister, the local Raytown reporter, 
Fran Crowley, and Vince Kids, Buzz and Sonia. Also reoccurring was Carol Burnett as Eunice Higgins, Harvey Corman as Ed Higgins, and Betty White as Ellen Jackson. Mama's family centered on the misadventures of the Harper family and their constant bickering and fighting with each other and Mama trying to keep her sanity amongst it all. Mama's family wasn't a rating success but it was enough for NBC to order a second season which includes the favorite episode Rahasha Mama where Vint tries to find out who hit Mama in the head with a pot. Naomi, Ellen and Eunice each tell their side of the story with varying degrees of the truth. At the end of season 2, NBC canceled the series, but not for long. Family returned in 1986 in first run syndication with most of the NBC cast returning except for Carol Burnett, Harvey Korman, Rue McClanahan, and Vince Kidd's Buzz and Sonia. Betty White appeared only one time during the syndicated years as by the time Mama's family returned, both she and Rue McClanahan were doing the Golden Girls. In the syndicated years, new characters were introduced such as Bubba Higgins, played by Alan Kayser, who had just been released from Juvenile Hall and was every bit as his mother Eunice. Bringing out the new characters was Prissy next door neighbor, Iola Boylan, played by Beverly Archer. Iola was Mama's best friend and annoyance at times. Also, Iola was known for her handicraft, which she practically made out of anything. In the syndicated years, Mama's family went through some changes from the NBC years. Mama, for one, was toned down a bit as she was less cynical and more sarcastic towards her family, though she still retained her short temper which she would go off at anyone like that. Vint and Naomi were the most changed as Vint became 100% dumb and Naomi more of the stereotypical dumb blonde. One of the highlights from the syndicated years was Mama going back to high school and getting her diploma, Mama going on Jeopardy and winning a vacation to Hawaii, and fighting with her best friend Iola over who had the best roses. Mama's family ended its six-year run on February 24, 1990 with Naomi giving birth to her daughter, Tiffany Thelma Harper. In 1997, Mama's family entered syndication yet again on TBS and remained there until 2006. After TBS aired Mama, she moved on to CMT and ION TV between 2006 and 2008. The character of Mama has never been out of the public's eye as Vicky's been playing Mama since Mama's family ended on various programs from game shows to roasts. Shortly after Mama's family ended on her 90s talk show, Vicky, there was even a Mama's Family Reunion. He currently plays Mama again in her hit show, Vicky Lawrence and Mama, a two-woman show, where the first half, as herself, where she does stand-up and talks about the Carol Burnett show and Mama's Family. The other half, as Mama, talking about current events going on in the world and her own solutions to them. 2006, Warner Brothers released the complete first season of Mama's Family on DVD, but unfortunately, WB released the syndicated episodes, upsetting the fans who wanted them uncut. Since then, there have been no other release of Mama. In 2013, seven years after the first release of Mama's Family on DVD, Time Life is releasing the entire series of Mama's Family, complete and uncut, with hours of special features as well. Also, at the same time, Time Life is releasing the first season uncut along with season two for the first time separately from the complete series. This family is a show that anyone can get into and get easily hooked on as it reminds people of their own family as everyone's got a grandma who's just like mama or they have squabbles with their own families just like the Harpers do. 
there's one thing that everyone can agree on is that there is only one mama. Well, good lord, after 30 years, I'm actually speechless.